Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zonta of Repro Products. This screencast will showcase how to use the Suite workflow aspect of the software when you're inside Revit. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zonta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017. When you install Revit that's coming from a Suite product like Building Design Suite Premium or higher, in the application menu, you'll notice that there is a Suites workflow feature that's available. This is only available if you have it installed from a Suite product. In this Suites workflow tool, you have the ability to pick from taking the Revit model and exporting it out in one shot to 3ds Max or to Showcase. From 3ds Max, you actually have the ability to choose whether it's an exterior rendering or an interior rendering. If it's for showcase, you can do it for conceptual modeling, interactive walkthrough, or realistic presentation. These are the defaults, and basically what's happening is when you use this tool, it's exporting out the data to an FBX file and immediately taking the FBX file and the settings and bringing it directly into 3ds Max or showcase. You have the workflow manager tool here that if you select this, it will give you the suites workflow window and will list all the ones that you have to work with. Let's say, for example, I pick Showcase Conceptual Model. I can click Settings and get into the information that describes how the export process is for that particular. So it'll say Showcase Conceptual Model, and it says Send Your Model to Showcase Creating a Conceptual Presentation. You have basic information such as Visual Style, which you can change and adjust if you want to, Background Environment as well, the uh, model and its appropriate size, and then the scaling for the environment, and then also the environment ground level. For navigation, if you're using walkthroughs and so on and so forth, you'll have this checked. If I go back and pick something else, say 3ds Max Design Exterior Rendering, and go to its settings, you'll see it has a different set of options available. For example, file linking, if the target scene is going to be inputted into a new 3DX scene file, or if it's going to be prompting the end user to specify something. And same thing with any existing links found in the target scene. Materials by default should carry across, and they're checked by default. Uh, if you uncheck them, then they won't come across. You have things to include, lights, daylight system, camera, so on and so forth. If you want to get the you know most out of your export process and the, as much data as you can out of your Revit model into the 3DX environment, um, go ahead and put a check mark for everything. Uh, and so at the end of the day, when you go back to the Suites workflow window that has all of these different options, you can actually select any one that you think is close to what you're working with. And if you need to, you can click Save As and save it as a new one. So we can say, Showcase Realistic Presentation Test. I'll hit Save, and now I have created a new workflow settings option to choose from, and I can make any changes that I need within any of the options here. And then lastly, uh, each one has an information button that you can click that gives you basic keyword information and the descriptive data of what it's using to export out. If I click Run, it's going to go through the process of exporting that Revit model out to FBX file format, and then the FBX file format will automatically go into Showcase in this example. So for Showcase purposes, it'll ask you what the ground level is. If you know what that is, you can input it. If not, you can always adjust it after the fact. If we click Continue, it'll go through that process of putting together the file necessary. It'll open up Showcase and you'll see it just takes a second or two. When the showcase software is finished loading up, the file will be imported in automatically and it will show you the model and the HDR environment that's encompassing the model itself. We'll click Access and let it run through. Uh, also note that if you're running Autodesk Showcase, it will change the color scheme of your Windows 7 from um, Arrow to Basic. 
and that's because it's actually very graphic intensive of an application and that kind of frees up some resources in your machine to, to work with it properly. So as you can see, this process, depending how complex your Revit model is or how much data you have, uh, it will, may take some time to export out and bring into Showcase and set it up for you. It basically, this whole workflow process will give you um, one less step in the process of moving it from one application to another. And when it's done, it'll show you the model, and you can see it in the Showcase environment. There you go. And that's it. So that's the uh, Suite's workflow feature within the Revit software when you install it from a Suite product. Thank you very much for watching.